celebrate Christmas uh, like uh, religiously as well? Do you, do you go to church and stuff? Um, back back because uh, I'm from I'm from Australia, but right. so if I was back in Australia, I'd usually go to church on Christmas Day. Okay. But that's that's about the extent to it. So not too much. It's more just to keep like um, dad happy, really. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So right. are you a, a Christian? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Catholic. Catholic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is like that so. Huh? How about yourself? Me, I'm a Muslim. Okay, yep. Yeah. So, are you, um, uh, so you, so you said you keep, you do it to keep your mum and dad happy, yeah? You don't really... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you don't really kind of, like, practice the religion yourself, or...? Nah, not really. Like, I, I'm, I'm happy to say I'm Catholic, and I believe on the whole, on the whole, the morals they teach you good. So, I mean, like, I believe the, you know, the morals of doing right by others and everything like that is, is a good way to, to teach you a bit. Yeah. But... Outside of that, yeah, <laughs> I don't exactly know what I believe, really. But you believe in God, yeah? Um, you believe in a creator? Yeah, I, I believe in something. <laughs> I don't know exactly what, though. Like, I don't, you know, the whole, like, the Bible and all the stories, I don't know how true they are and everything, but I think on the whole, the kind of, the religion and what it teaches you to do the right thing for others, and, yeah, I think that's the main, the main part of it, which I take out of it. Do you believe uh, Jesus was a real person? Um, I'm not really no, I'm not sure about that kind of stuff, yeah. You're not sure? Yeah. Do you know, um, uh, Catholicism came about 500 years after Christ had passed? Did yeah. You know that? So it's hard, it's hard to know what to kind of believe and what's true and what isn't. So I think a lot of, it, I think a lot of the stories are probably that, stories. They might have been convenient at the time to get people to believe in something. But, like, I think if, if people take from religion that kind of message about doing the right thing, I think it can't be that bad. Yeah. Okay. So, about yourself, are you uh, practicing or? Um, I mean, I am what I am. Uh, there's always room for improvement. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. Uh, I, I, in, in, in my religion, it's important to continue to seek knowledge. Yeah. Uh, until basically until you're in the grave so okay. it's always to better life and better yourself and yeah. have that you know it, it, uh, being a Muslim means to submit to God right yeah. and Islam the best way to kind of des describe that would be to have a personal relationship between you and the creator yeah um, so if you want to speak to him you pray yeah you know uh, and if you want if you want him to speak to you you turn to his Book of Guidance, the, yeah. the revelation that was sent down. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's uh, you know, I, I, I'm fascinated by religions. Yeah, no, that's good. It's you know, they're, they're amazing what people believe, and it's it's unbelievable. Yeah, no, of course. And there's so many out there, so it's yeah. always interesting to kind of hear what people follow. And yeah, mine's quite. <laughs> I wouldn't sound very, very religious at all, just, um, but like, I, I go to church and a lot of the stories I hear them tell and, um, you know, a lot of the, the things they, they teach, I think that's, that's a good thing. And I went to, like, I went to Catholic schools and okay. the, the Catholic schools I went to, they didn't really, you know, we didn't study the Bible in depth or, you know, we weren't, you know, constantly told about God and everything like that, mm. but we just got taught more of the kind of morals and ethics and stuff like that, so... Yeah. I feel if that's what religion teaches, well, then it's not it's not too bad. Yeah, I, I went to a um, Catholic school as well. Okay. Church, Church of England school. My oh, mum's so Catholic. Just, okay. Yeah. So you uh, chose... Uh, well, my, my dad's uh, Pakistani and uh, okay. he's, he's Muslim, but um, I, came to a, I came to a point, I came to an age, because I knew more about the Bible than I did the, the Quran uh, yeah, yeah. Or, or Islam in, in, in general um, at, at a certain point, because I was kind of raised by my mum. Yeah. Mostly, so um, yeah, it came to a point where I kind of, you know, went out and seeked what was best for me. And uh, to be honest with you, when I weighed up things, and there's, you know, Islam offers a lot of um, tangible evidence. Yeah, yeah. To support like um, it being from God. Yeah. Um, and the one thing that's very unique about Islam is that the revelation itself, it's it's not like the Bible, the Torah, which is a kind of a documented diary, like Jesus went here and this, yeah, that, yeah. and that. This is 
the actual word of God, God speaking okay. to mankind. <coughs> so it's quite different in that aspect. Yeah, it's it's like it's it's so direct that you cannot help uh, but you know kind of feel its message. Yeah, you know. Um, I mean, it was given. It, the revelation was given to uh, Prophet Muhammad, so yeah. it's you know it's it's speaking to him, but it's to us. So it's like a you know like a if I called you on your phone yeah, yeah. and you put it on speaker, it's not the mobile that's talking; it's me in it. It's my okay, message. Yeah, yeah, so that's basically how it is. Okay. Um, so it's quite different in that aspect. Yeah, it's different, and and yeah, it's just it's fascinating because uh, you know there's actually a bold, a very bold statement in the Quran which says. If this is the man, if this is the man of word, uh, sorry, if this is um, uh, man's word and not God's, then produce, reproduce something like it. Yeah, and yeah. and the smallest chapter in the Quran is uh, three verses, ten words. Okay. Yeah. But yet that hasn't been. No one's actually been able to to produce anything like it. If anything, even the the the, the challenge goes on. Um, and it says even if you was to bring the whole of mankind you would not be able to produce something like it because yeah, yeah. because this is this is from your creator this is flawless yeah yeah so like linguistically so it's quite flawless reading then sorry so when you read it it's quite flawless it's absolutely flawless there's no con contradictions in it there's there's scientific um uh, uh facts that we've only recently discovered like yeah. for example embryology the detailed stages of embryology which is you know, you can't see with the naked eye. You yeah, know, yeah. Um, you, we, we know these type of things from scientific, the scientific days that we're in now, yeah? Yeah. Uh, and due to the uh, technology. Um, yeah, this was revealed 1400 years ago, just oh. as a sign for you to kind of... It speaks about the seven layers over the earth to protect it from, you know, uh, the, the sun and, you know? Yeah, yeah. And these are things that we've only recently just discovered. Yeah, so it's a different sign. Yeah, so I mean, these are very small like examples, but it's 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 said like, you know, you see the world and you see design and you see control and order. Yeah, we're exactly the right distance away from the sun, so we don't burn. And likewise, if we go any further, we'd freeze. Yeah, because we're too far. So it's just amazing. Yeah, how, the smart. yeah. So you know, the way, it's, yeah, it's just fascinating. I mean, you don't get order out of chaos. Yeah, yeah. So the whole uh, Big Bang. Uh, in fact, it talks about the Big Bang. Okay. It says that you know we uh, we 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 split the heavens and earth yeah. to create life. Yeah. Yeah. It speaks about the Big Bang, and and it's actually the first documented. Um, it's it's the first place it's documented when it comes to because the Big Bang is relatively a, a, a new kind of concept as well. Yeah, yeah. So this is going back like, you know, 14, 14, 1500 years ago. Wow, that's quite interesting. Yeah. Have um, you studied religions like further, like at university or anything like that? Or I haven't, no, it's, it's just, it's, it's just by either speaking to people or, yeah. or reading uh, about it. You know, it's, um, yeah, it's amazing uh, what you find out from other people and what, because here's the thing, like, even if you, like Hinduism, if you study Hinduism, there's yeah. so many different branches. Yeah, yeah, of course. So you and unless you actually speak to someone and, and, and find out what they believe and stuff, then you'll never really kind of be able to to kind of yeah, master. Yeah, Yeah. And everyone's got their own interpretations as well. Exactly. Everyone exactly. interprets things differently. So you yourself, naturally, yeah? Uh, yeah. What would you, if I asked you, what's the purpose of life? What, what would you say? What would you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure. It's quite funny just watching a movie about kind of similar things like that just then. Yeah. Oh, uh, what movie was that? Oh no, it was it was actually quite a stupid movie, but it was about um, it was called uh, Lucy. Okay. And it was about it was, it was quite stupid. Oh, was, with uh, Scarlett. Scarlet okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it more explores that kind of if you could use more of your brain and mm -hmm. you know get to understand those things. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure. Well, I hope that, you, I hope you don't think it's like. The way the movie showed it. No, no. <laughs> that movie, is, I don't know what you're viewing it, but I thought it was terrible. Oh, I thought it was absolutely horrible. <laughs> and the editing as well, like the way yeah. they just kind of 
They were just putting some random stuff in between the scenes. Ah, uh, it was. Like, like sometimes those concepts about using more of your brain, like they're good concepts, but mm. that movie didn't explore Oh, no, world or yeah, you, the, the, the idea of the movie is brilliant, but yeah. had they given it to someone to d uh, deliver, oh, then, shit. you know, but yeah, yeah they just... Mm. Yourself, do you have a view on what the uh, point of life is? Well, um, we're told in Islam that life is a test. Yeah, yeah. And we believe in heaven and hell and stuff like that. Yeah. So it, it it comes down to the revelation because like if you believe in a creator, yeah, then it would be kind of it'd be it would be silly to think that, you know, there's a God and he's just left us here to free Rome. Yeah. Like some type of abandoned landlord. You know, like he's <laughs> you know, he owns everything, he creates everything, but he hasn't told you what to do, what's your yeah, purpose yeah. of life? Why are we here? So uh, we believe that revelations have been sent down through prophets yeah. and they've and each prophet came with the same message ultimately that there is only one God to okay. worship the one God and all religions agree with this yeah yeah um, if you if you look at all the religions you'll see that there is a backbone yeah. that just basically is the same message that there is only one God um, there's political differences that have kind of you know moved uh, you know Christianity Catholicism yeah. uh, 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 you know Judaism and whatnot so but essentially, it's all it's all coming from the same source. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's it, it's said that life is a test, and uh, you know, to, I mean, here's the thing: look, if life was all about making money and stuff like that, right? Yeah. It's all these rich, successful people, um, even celebrities and stuff. They have everything. They have fame. They have the wealth and everything. Yeah. Yeah. They're still. You know, taking antidepressants, sleeping tablets. Yeah, exactly. They, they can't. They, they can't find peace. Yeah, they yeah. can't find peace because they don't know who they are. They don't know why they're here. Yeah. You know. So, uh, only when you are connected with, you know, your creator, and, and you and you understand and you acknowledge that you know, just life is bigger than just us. Yeah. To being selfish and stuff like that. Yeah. No, then you can kind of, well. you know. That those. Uh, that's why you find a lot of like religious people. They they're at peace because. They're content. They're humble. Yeah. They don't. They're not so. They're not materialistic at all. Yeah. And and materialisticness and and um, egos and stuff. That's they're all very dangerous diseases. Yeah, no, of course. They can destroy. They can destroy lives. Yeah. Um, and make it unbearable to to you know want to carry your own. So yeah, yeah I, I see the attraction in uh, religions and their teachings and stuff. It's quite yeah. interesting. Sometimes people don't interpret them the wrong way. Or... Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is fun. the thing when they start using religious, uh, uh, when they start using religion and, and and taking it out of context and uh, yeah. um, making an excuse to start wars and all sorts. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. that's obviously that's just like that's the lowest of the low. Yeah.